Hello everyone. All right. In this video, we're going to be talking about pH and we need to understand how pH affects internal and external environments. Because we're in biology, we can't just know about pH. Now, the first things you got to know about pH are acids and bases. Now, an acid donates a hydrogen ion to any solution. So the more hydrogen ions there are, the more acidic it will be. So example of a really strong acid would be uh, battery, battery acid. So stuff like that. Bases donate a hydroxide ion or OH negative to a solution. So both ions are very reactive, both hydrogen and hydroxide. You combine them together, it makes water, but they're both really reactive. So a strong base is going to be as corrosive as a strong acid would be. So lye is a strong base. That's what my mom uses to combine all the elements in her soap when she makes homemade soap. So she has to cut the lye off of it. It all kind of rises to the top and she has to cut the lye off so it doesn't burn your skin and eat away your skin. Now here's this pH scale. Here's the one you have in your book right here. So seven is neutral. Make sure you're writing this down. Seven is neutral. Anything above seven is basic. Anything below seven is acidic. You need to know that. So right here on this scale, you have a few different things like your gastric acid it can be from anywhere from one to four, right in there, depending on what you're eating. Lemon juice is a two, apple juice, tomato juice. I think it's so interesting that people that eat a lot of spicy foods, so spicy food's gonna be down in here as well. Anything that's sour is gonna be acidic. Now, baking soda is a nine, so if you're struggling with acid reflux, you have heartburn, right? Taking some baking soda would be actually kind of good because it'll balance out that low pH. Now, bleach, right? You don't want to put bleach in your body. It'll eat away your esophagus and your tongue and stuff like that, and it can kill you, right? It has a, it's a strong base, so it will eat away at your organs. You don't want to get bleach on you either because it'll start eating away your skin cells because it reacts with the, your, the molecules in your skin. So I want you to notice water, pure water is a seven. That is a neutral. Okay. So that's pH. Now let's kind of look at the different areas on the body and how they're affected and what pH is there. So saliva, it says, has a pH of six to four right here, six to 7.4. Your gastric secretions or your gastric acid is one to 3.5. Look at pancreas, eight to 8.3. It's going to secrete some enzymes and hormones into your body to help you digest your food. And Urine, notice, is a 4.5 to 8. So I like to say if your urine is yellow, you're probably closer to the 4 range. If it's white, it's probably closer to the 7, 8 range. So anything like that, right? You need to maintain a constant pH in these areas and look at all the different pHs. You have to maintain that pH constantly. I think that's amazing that the human body and any organism will actually maintain a pH in all the different sections of the body and whatever they need to. I think that's awesome. So if you get out of balance, right, this is why it's important. If your pH gets out of balance, you start getting, right, your brain's not going to work right. Your saliva, right, it's, they're just, the enzymes in your saliva will get denatured and they won't be able to work right. Enzymes are proteins that help with chemical reactions. So anything, right, they just won't work right if you move the pH too much. Now, if we look at something like an external environment like the ocean, you get a lot of carbon dioxide in there. It starts becoming acid here. If you can see, it starts becoming carbonic acid and you raise the pH too much and the organisms that usually live there can't live there anymore. You lower the pH too much, the organisms can't live there anymore. So. This is one reason why climate change is bad is because it's actually making our oceans more acidic and it's making them warmer. And so the animals that normally can't live there or plants 
animals and plants that normally live there can't live there, live in those areas anymore, like the coral reefs, because it's becoming too acidic or it's becoming too hot or both. So pretty interesting. And that's pretty much it for pH.